Today we're talking about what is the reason? What is the reason for what? This is a very vague and big question. You might have even asked yourself, what is the reason that I'm here? What is the reason for life? These are all big questions that have many, many, many answers and there's not a single answer that, that is correct. But the vast majority of people, including myself, what always can say is to be happy, to be joyful, to feel peace and bliss, all these great emotions, yes? What is the reason that is stopping us from having these amazing and fulfilling emotions? Now, on the surface level, there could be many reasons, such as I don't have this thing, I don't have this thing, um, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, and there's nothing to eat, or someone's annoying me, or so many surface level reasons, right? But we cannot, if you want to get rid of a weed, you don't cut the leaves, we go to the root. Once we get to the root, that is exactly how we can figure out the solution. We can easily work backward from the surface, okay? from top level things. Let us have an example to work with. Let's say that you want a brand new car. It could be any type of car, your favorite car, BMW, Mercedes, Acura, Honda, Toyota, Lexus, Koenigsegg, whatever it is, doesn't matter, whatever the car is. You want this car because you believe that it will give you these emotions, joy, happiness, peace. You'll be like, oh my God, every time I'm driving, I'm gonna be so happy, I'm gonna be laughing all the time, it's gonna sound so good. Whatever the emotion is that you're expecting to receive from this thing. So then you're like, okay, how do I get this thing? I need to do this, I need this kind of job. Oh my goodness, a Koenigsegg is two something million dollars. Then you might start to have some thoughts that come into your mind of doubt. It's like, oh my goodness, am I ever gonna have two million dollars? This is gonna be too much, I don't think I can afford that. How am I gonna pay it off? Who's gonna give me two million dollars? How long would that take to work? Different thoughts will come to you of doubt and this will result in feelings of hopelessness, right? So you might feel hopeless to get what you want. And what you want is that car, which is to make you feel joy and peace or happy, grateful, whatever, love, you love the car or satisfied. Then you feel hopeless. Once you feel hopeless, you, you're starting to believe that you cannot have whatever it is that you would like to have in life. So you've taken one of the things that you desired and told yourself and made yourself believe that you can't have it. Once you do that with one thing, it can become a habit and you might do that with other things. Let's say you drop down your desires. You're like, it's okay, I'll just settle for a Toyota. You look at a Toyota, it's $20,000 or $30,000 brand new, and right now, it might be out of your budget. So you're like, oh my goodness, how am I ever gonna get $30,000? How am I gonna pay this off? $300, $400 a month plus insurance, whatever the case is, it's too much for me. I can't have that either. That results in more hopelessness, more depression, it's not helping you achieve your desire. This will then go on to other things that you may desire, not even physical things. At some point, you're going to start giving up too many of the things that you desire and want, and you're gonna be stuck in these feelings of hopelessness, uh, doubt, unhappiness, because you believe that you cannot have whatever it is that you want in life. This is what I believe is the root of depression. Depression is the lack of faith that you can have whatever it is that you want. Part of manifestation and understanding and awareness, which I've spoken about in my previous video, The Power of Awareness, is that all of these good emotions exist in the now. There is no such thing as the past, there's no such thing as the future, because the future is just a mental imagination of what could happen, but you're imagining it right now. The past is a memory, and you're remembering something, but you're remembering it right now. So everything happens in the now. Your future, your past are all in the now. So knowing this, once you have that Koenigsegg or that Lamborghini or that Toyota or whatever car it is you want or whatever, whatever you desire, that does not mean you will actually have those emotions immediately because those emotions are actually located now. The key to manifesting whatever your dream car is or like I said, whatever desire you would like to have, there's not one single thing that you need to do in order to manifest whatever it is that you would like to have in life. There are actually multiple things. One of these keys is to be aware of that all the emotions that you would like to feel are actually happening now. Very quick example, let's say you went out and you ate a burger and now you want something sweet. You don't feel hopeless and depressed because there's nothing sweet right in front of you immediately because you know you can easily get something sweet for very relatively cheap and it is very achievable because you believe and you know that you could have it. So you don't feel worried or anxious is it going to happen? Am I ever going to have taste something sweet? You're not worried about it because you know it's it's attainable, you know it's coming, you have faith and you have hope basically that it that is certain that you're gonna get it. Combining these two keys together is what is gonna allow you to manifest easier, quicker, and joyfully. It's not gonna be difficult, it's not gonna be worrisome, it's gonna be easy. 
That's how it actually has been your whole life. We're gonna take the one key of belief and the other key of the awareness of the current moment. We'll put these two together and that will actually take our beliefs, put them in front of us and being present in the moment, we can enjoy every second to get to that belief. Well, not the belief, the desire. The belief needs to be there in order for you to get there. Because if you do not have the belief that you can have whatever you want, then you will not even attempt and then you will actually end up feeling negatively or not negatively, you will end up feeling not so good, hopeless, depressed. You will not feel so good and joyous and expectant now because you do not have the belief that what you can have is yours. Quick little side note, the universe is always expanding. So there's always more space, more room for whatever it is that you want. Even as consciousness continues to evolve, as each human wants new and different things, there's no limit to what we can have here on Earth and maybe even other planets or whatever. So if everyone wanted a mansion, they can, everyone can have a mansion. But not everyone has the same idea of a mansion. So there's always, always, always more space and more room for your desires to evolve and come into life. Do not ever feel that your desires are impossible or unachievable. The next major question that comes in is how do you have faith? How do you keep the faith? Faith is defined as something that is believed especially with a strong conviction. This does not need to be faith as in religion or whatever. It is just a faith that what you want is going to happen, certainly. An easy example of faith would be like a GPS. You set your destination, you tell exactly, you tell the universe, you tell God, you tell yourself, you write it down, what it is exactly where you wanna be, the destination, the USF Tampa Campus Library, right? So you put in your GPS, the destination, and it tells you the, the time. When you start driving, you might be going through locations you've never seen before, you're not sure where you're going, you, you have no idea where you're at, but you know that the GPS is taking you to exactly where you wanna be. This is exactly how faith works. But what doesn't work is if you turn on the GPS, start driving for five or six minutes, and like, I have no idea where I'm going, it's not working, turn back, right back to where you started. And then you're like, actually, I do wanna go there. So then you start driving there back, and you go back, and back and forth, back and forth. That is not gonna help you get there. If anything, you're just taking more time because you're unclear and uncertain about what it is that you desire. So once you have that certain and locked, it's going to happen no matter what. This video is not enough. No video will ever be enough for you. No person, no thing will f like be enough to fully convince you and to give you that faith. The faith comes from within you. Now, it's not that you wake up one day and you're like, okay, I have the highest amount of faith in getting whatever I want. The only thing that will truly prove anything in life to you is an experience. Another easy example is if I give you some hot sauce and I tell you it's not hot, but you try it and it is actually very spicy, then that experience is undeniable and you know that the hot sauce is spicy. You now have your own evidence and proof in your life and you know it's certain because you tasted it to be spicy. Now it doesn't matter what I tell you if it's spicy or not, but you know how it is because you had the experience. So in order to build and increase your faith, you need to start with something small, relatively small in order in your perspective so that way you can't, because it's easy to have faith in something small, but if you want faith in something like gigantic, let's say you want to go to Neptune, I don't know, you might not have faith that it's possible. But if you wanted to have faith that a certain person is going to call you or someone's gonna text you or someone's gonna give you a gift, I don't know, something small. If you truly believe it and imagine it in the first perspective, as you're going to sleep, I've talked about them in my previous video, that scene, that action will certainly come. But do not give away any power when that coincidence does happen because you are the one who imagined it. You are the one who set it up to happen and it was answered due to the law of cause and effect. I hope this video helps everyone. If at any time you need to come back and rewatch this video, go ahead, rewatch it as many times as it is needed in order to persuade you that what it is that you want is achievable. Then go ahead and test it. And if, like I said, this video will never fully be enough. But once you experience it, it's over. You know it's true. Go ahead and hit that like button if this is gonna help you. If you're watching this video more than one time, comment down below how many times you've watched it. If there are any specific questions you would like to have answered, please go ahead and put them in the comments down below. I'll research it, I'll do my due diligence, and I'll get you the truest answer in my best experience. See you guys next time. And always be great, yes sir.